Hey, what's up, Trails Collective? Ian here for the upcoming events episode for... We're going to go with calling it Blur's Day, because I think that's one of the words of 2020, referring to where all the days a week, particularly with the COVID schedules and shakeups, just all blur together. But it should be ending in Friday, Christmas Day, December 25th. Hopefully you all have some, I don't know, I guess the... Uh, ability to get together with some family, loved ones uh, that are close and still share in this uh, time of year. Uh, so uh, I'll get into some of what's coming up. There's not a ton on the immediate schedule, but to tell you what's out there. So uh, what, one that released today uh, or this evening is epi Pain Cave release episode number 75, which is Jay and Phil going into 20 questions with ultra endurance uh, stud Patrick Reagan. Or Regan. For those of you who may not know, Patrick is one of the fastest ultra endurance athletes in the country, uh, nearly always on the podium and with a top 10 at Western States. Uh, definitely uh, check that one out. Amazing individual, and we'll plug the link, but you can find it at Gunks Runner. December 23rd, tomorrow, the Trails Collective weekly interview series that Ellie has been heading up uh, will go live to our Facebook and uh, YouTube uh, channels this week is a round with Vinny Capadora of Happily Running and amongst of other uh, host of other trail running related hats that he and his wife, uh, Nicole, wear. In addition to being runners, trail runners themselves, uh, RDs, for a while Vinny was working with Spartan. They have their own company, Happily Running, putting on events including Tesla Hertz. Uh, he and a couple partners, new, new RDs and owners of, of Laurel Highlands uh, Ultra. Uh, as well as having their own timing company. Just a lot of hats within the trail world. Many of you may already know Vinny, but tune into the episode uh, with any questions, considerations, things just to make the interview fun. Check it out, and it'll be available afterward for uh, watching post. Let's see, December 31st is our Trails Collective uh, inaugural New Year's Eve show. It'll run, also stream live to our Facebook and YouTube sites from 7.30 to probably a little bit after 10. I'm pretty excited about it. Hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun. So for those of you who don't have set New Year's plans and have a little bit of flexibility, feel free to tune in. We have a pretty long list of special guests from RDs throughout the region to um, long-known ultra-endurance legends like Michael Wardian, um, Ben Nephew, FK tiers like Sarah Kyes and Alyssa Gadeski, uh, Michael Ortiz of the Hundos Project. Uh, just a good list of individuals and trying to have a good amount of fun with it. Uh, so check it out December 31st at 7.30. All right, events. Uh, running January 10th, I think it's the, there's probably something I'm missing here. Uh, but January 10th is the Valley Trail Series, winner race number three. You can find information at valleytrailseries.com. They offer four, six, and 12-mile distances over diverse, including sometimes technical trails, uh, based out of the Alpine Scout Camp in Alpine, New Jersey. Check it out at Ultra Sign Up. January 16th, it's the Sasquad Trail Running's Frosty Fat Sass. 3.1 miles, three-hour and six-hour runs based at the South Mountain Reservation in West Orange, New Jersey. The events all make use of a scenic 3.1-mile loop. A great event for those who like winter and those who dislike winter and just need an excuse to get out during winter. Check it out. Fun crew to uh, do an event with. January 31st was the pushback date for the Naked Nick 2550K, running at Blue Marsh Leesport, PA. Another gem put on by the great community, which is Uber Endurance Sports. Uh, put on classic trail events at classic race fees. I believe this one was capped out, so unless people drop, you may not be able to get in. Uh, but that would be the Naked Nick. And the Valley Trail Series, winter race number four, also running January 31st, uh, also based out of the Alpine Scout Camp four, six, and 12 mile distance options. Uh, so check that out. And without a ton on this plate, I'm gonna get into some of the registrations opening this episode as well. So for those of you planning out your 2021 calendar, there are a bunch of events that have already opened, but also a number that are opening at the start of the year. So I'm gonna take you through some of those. Some of these events will sell or cap out. So trying to give you the heads up now to plug it on your calendar and uh, check in when they go live. December 25th, the EHQ Valley Falls 12 hour put on by Endurance Headquarters LLC or EHQ events. It's running scheduled to run on May 1st in Fairmont, West Virginia, Mount West Virginia. It uses a 5.25 mile loop, which offers a mix of gravel service roads, single track streams, rocky climbs, rolling trails, 
and beautiful waterfalls. Uh, with each loop offering 750 feet of gain, it's an honest timed event. Uh, so check that out. So the EHQ Valley Falls 12 hour. Registration opens on December 25th, Christmas Day. Check it out. All right, there are a good number with registra registrations opening on January 1st. So let's run through these. Trail methods, last run or standing, scheduled for March 6th in Rochester, New York. Uses a one mile trail loop with a time limit for loops getting shorter after each round. Hat Run 50K, scheduled for March 20th in Maryland. This is a classic, going back a bit under 30 years, I think, at this point. It runs a mostly single track course with 5,100 feet of climbing and multiple stream crossings. The field is capped out at 200, uh, in addition to or outside of the yet unknown COVID permitting restrictions coming. Uh, but I'm assuming that's one that will fill potentially in a hurry. So get on that. That's one that um, I'm hoping to uh, run this year. So I'll try to remember to get on it. Eagleton Trail Challenge 10K, 25, 50K, running on April 10th in Lock Haven, PA. It's a bit less technical and intense course for what has become a trademark in Central PA. So if somebody looking for a Segway, Central PA, uh, nice trail event, uh, check it out with the Eagleton Trail Challenge. Many on the Jetty 40 miler, slated for June 19th in Castile, New York. Uh, also put on by Trail Methods. This is an all-trail course that traverses single track, fields, forests, and footbridges on either side of the famous Letchworth Gorge. Pretty amazing. Also good, wonderful community that puts it on. They probably won't have many spots open for this year based on the number that are rolling over from it being canceled this year. And uh, it'll probably fill in a hurry. So that's many in the Jenny 40 miler for June 19th. Registration opening, all these in this list, January 1st, uh, coming right up. The Clear Creek, Clear Creek Ultra Fest 21 and 34 milers set for June 19th in Siegel, PA. Held in conjunction with peak rhododendron blooming season. The course runs through deep spring-fed groves, vibrant in pink flowers. Pretty Sounds beautiful. Uh, check it out. That's the Clear Creek Ultra Fest. The Table Rock Trail Challenge, last one standing event, is set, for June, set to run on June 26th. Uses a 1.2 mile trail within Clark's Reservation outside of Jamesville, New York. So if you're looking for a last person standing uh, late June, check it out. Table Rock Trail, trail Challenge. This one, 7-Eleven Free Slurpee Day Ultra 60K. I think Free Slurpee Day didn't happen this year because of COVID, but maybe it's going to happen in 2021 and you all need to get on this and uh, take advantage of Free Slurpee Day. Set for July 11th in Meriden, Connecticut. And pulling from their U.S. page, they title it with, Do You Like Dumb Ideas? This is a fat-ass style, mostly road course. Organizer writes, If this sounds like a stupid idea, you're right. I bet you're rolling your eyes. That's good. It is probably the dumbest idea I've not only had, but executed. 2019's run was just three awkward dudes drinking small cups of cold sugary slush and eating bags of Doritos and those weird single-serve pickles. So, sounds like a, a fun few, uh, just kind of three awkward dudes to hang out with. And uh, you should probably do it just because kudos to making uh, stupid ideas uh, happen. The Groton Forest Trail 6.2, 15, and 26.5 mile trail runs running September 11th in Groton, Vermont. The event uses a 15 mile configuration with 3,200 feet of elevation gain with several summits and lake views with the shorter 10K and 26 mile options. Shawnee Peak Ultra Challenge, two hour, six hour in Bridgeton, Maine. With over 1,200 feet of elevation gain in only one mile, followed by making it uh, or losing it all in the one mile descent, you've got two to six hours to uh, basically run that two mile loop on the ski slopes of Shawnee Peak. It's bound to be quad and spirit crushing. So kudos to those uh, putting it on and taking it on uh, up there in Maine. Midstate Massive Ultra Trail, 30, 50, and 100 milers, set for October 9th and 10th in New Ipswich, New Hampshire. UTMB points races. The course runs point to point through mountains, fields, roads, and rivers in central Mass with border crossings in New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. Definitely one of the more rugged in the Beast Coast. Uh, sounds like it's a great event. Cool point to point format. Check it out. Cook Forest Highland Fall Scramble, point to point 12 miler, running on the North Country Trail through Cook Forest. Goes on October 31st in Cooksburg, PA. And the Rim to River 100, a beautiful out and back course winding from the rim, to river, rim of the New River Gorge to the New River running on November 6th in the New River Gorge, West Virginia. The page mentions a course of natural beauty of waterfalls, whitewater, dramatic views, ghost towns, century old cemeteries, and abandoned mine shafts. Uh, sounds amazing. You can check out our post race segment from this year when we covered the event. 
Uh, it sounds like a really fabulous event. So looking for a 100 miler uh, late next year, again, November, check out Rim to River 100. Again, registration is opening here also in this mix, January 1st. Tuckahoe 25K, a co-production of the Centerville Crushers and Algonquin Ultras, run over non-technical and fast trails. It's scheduled to run on November 20th in Queen Anne, Maryland. This may become R.D. Trent Swanson's new favorite in short order. For all of you who are in the Algonquin and Trent's event mixes, it sounds like it's a good community. So if you haven't run Tuckahoe, get on it. All right, so they were all opening January 1st. January 15th, there's two here set to open. The Hills Creek Endurance Challenge, three hours, six hours, 12 hours, set for May 8th in Wellsboro, PA. Features a mostly single track, 3.1 mile loop with 200 feet of elevation gain around Hills Creek Lake. And the View 25K, set to run November 7th in Heiner, PA. An additional option to give runners a fall opportunity to hit the Heiner trails. Offers around 3,000 feet of elevation gain and giving people really, again, the uh, fall uh, or late season ability to get out on the Heiner course. All right, and I'll just list a couple uh, that are opening February 1st. I think there are a couple others out there, but we'll keep it to these two for the moment. Twisted Branch Trail Run 100K set for August 21st in Naples, New York. It's a runner favorite and Western States qualifier, so it fills up in a hurry. And with the amount of rolls from 2020, if they actually have slots or spots open, it'll go really quickly. Classic point-to-point -point course run in the Finger Lakes of Western New York. A great destination event. Uh, check it out, Twisted Branch Trail 100K. And the Blue to Blue Trail Challenge 50K slated for September 25th in New Haven, Connecticut. Offers some of Connecticut's most technical and gnarly trails. First with the Regicides and then the Quinnipiac Trail. It's a true Beast Coast event. Uh, check it out, Blue to Blue, Blue Trail Challenge or 50K, again, opening February 1st. So uh, they are events upcoming and registration is about to open. We will have those uh, dates and links plugged in the show notes. So scan them through if one maybe caught or piqued your interest. Uh, so you can get on registration as soon as it opens. Uh, all right. So uh, we also just released this week uh, my uh, review of Scott's Kinabalu Ultra RC. Uh, check it out. My latest shoe review in the mix. Find out. Uh, tell you, I love the feel of the shoe. Uh, underfoot, smooth. Love it aesthetically. A lot of good points. Uh, but tune in to see whether uh, it holds up to Beast Coast. And then two, if I can get to it this week, if not next week, uh, is reviews of Timmermaid gear. A uh, local person crafting pretty amazing ultralight gear. Um, I've been living in these two pieces most of the past two weeks to test and just because I really enjoy them. Uh, so stay tuned for those. So thanks for tuning in for the uh, upcoming events episode. We will have the results and voices episode uh, either tomorrow or Thursday. And uh, if there's any FKTs in the region that get posted, I'll still plug it for FKT Friday um, despite uh, it being Christmas Day if I can get to it. All right, so thanks for tuning in. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for the support. Thank you to all the Patreon supporters. Thanks for those who are queuing up the New Year's Eve episode uh, coming live, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, see ya.